Today I'm going to show you a very simple and inexpensive way of attaching your furniture items, such as this china cabinet, to the wall to prevent it from falling over in an earthquake. The items that you will need are a spool of 16 gauge wire. You don't need a, quite this much, they do sell smaller amounts. It's typically found in your hardware section of your home, local home improvement store some wood threaded screws, preferably with a large head. You'll need some one inch, one and a quarter inch, and some two inch. These are drywall, these are zinc, this is what I have right now, but they'll work, they work really good. A stud finder, a pencil, a pair of pliers, needle nose preferably, and a pair of wire cutters. These have their own wire cutters built in. And a power screwdriver. If you don't have a stud finder, I've known people to make a hole every inch in the wall until they find a stud, but you'll be left with some holes you'll have to patch later, but who's going to see that behind the furniture? If you don't have a cordless screwdriver, you, and you have the strength, time, and the patience, you could use one of these. But since I have a cordless screwdriver, that will give me more time to put videos on the internet, which probably nobody will watch. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is locate the studs, the wood, and the wall. Make a mark on the bottom, just above the cabinet. Install your smaller screw into the cabinet. Make sure it doesn't puncture through. Make sure it goes in the solid wood. Put your larger screw into the stud. Make sure it's long enough to go through the drywall, plaster, or whatever you have into the wood at least one inch. Leave it exposed a quarter of an inch on both of these. Now cut yourself approximately a foot of wire. You may need more if the screws are farther apart. Now just take about two, two and a half inches and fold like so and wrap it around twice very tightly. Try to keep the loop smaller than the head of the screw. Go around twice. Now go like you're going around again but then pull it back and wrap it around the wire a couple times. You'll need to take the pliers and grab it and twist it to make it tight. Make sure the loop always is smaller than the head of the screw so it doesn't come off. That is tight. Take the other part, wrap it around the screw on the piece of furniture twice, wrap it as tight as you can. Go around like you're going around a third time, but then loop it around the wire that's coming from the other screw. A little tight here. You might need the pliers to help manipulate it. Two times at least. Maybe three is good. And take the pliers. Tighten as tight as you can. Always make sure that the loops are smaller than the head of the screw so it can't come off. 
and after it's all tight, cut off the excess. Leave about an inch so you can remove it. Easier to remove it later when you need to remove the, remove the piece of furniture. Fold down any pointed areas so they don't poke anybody. And there you go. Notice it's still a little loose, that's okay. You want it to move a little bit. Go with the flow. If you're worried about it banging into the wall in any areas, buy these felt pads and put them along any sharp areas that are going to come in contact with the wall so when it does move, it won't scratch or damage the wall as bad. There you go, an easy and expensive way of scaring your furniture to the wall in case of an earthquake. May not be the right way or the best way, but I do know it worked because prior to a Northridge earthquake, I attached my furniture this way and it did work. None of the pieces of furniture fell down. However, some items inside the furniture did fall out. That's it. Bye. Thanks for watching. I'm Todd.